The uh, basement is our current focus on renovations here. Um, it was in deplorable shape because of the, the moisture and the must. As you can tell, these are the original stone, hand stone laid foundations uh, that must have just been a tremendous effort to put into place. Um, this is all the original brick work off of the foundation and all the original post and peg and beam uh, construction in this area. These are uh, some of the original chimney flues inside this brickwork and the, the brick support buildings up here. In this corner, according to our town historian uh, Richard Holmes, this is Derry's original jail cell for all the all the vagrants. It's been converted over the years to a uh, a heating area. But according to Richard, this was our original jail cell. It had a obviously a jail barred door and there's just old graffiti that goes back in there for many many years ago. This was occupied by uh, Head Start, I believe. And uh, when we started to take all the old um, heating, heating ducts and the uh, insulation and everything else down, we found over the years a tremendous, a tremendous amount of children's toys that were left behind, little playthings. We still have them over in the corner. I don't know, we just don't have the heart to get rid of them. They seem to be something that we, we will wind up keeping forever. Back in this corner, I showed you the original stage, door, stage trap door upstairs. If you look on the wall, you can see where the stairs actually came down to a landing here. And this is where they used all, they stored all the scenery, all the stage props, all the actors would change. And the trap door is still there in its entirety with all its original trappings. The fire escapes were added to bring the building to code many years later. And um, back out here, this opens up into Pearson Park, which is a beautiful five acre area that's also owned by the East Area Village Improvement Society. And uh, it's just a wonderful place. When the, when the building's completely renovated, we hope to have it as a, as a beautiful park and walking area. The columns here are uh, original. And we are in, in the process right now, we've had a donation of steel columns to replace them. They're, they're the main support system for the, for the upper part of the hall. And uh, as you can tell, they were cut at one point in time. This was possibly going to be the senior center. And the senior center engineers came in and cut to make sure that uh, the footings and, and everything there was to code and would support the building. And I'm happy to say it obviously will. Back here in this far corner, many, I shouldn't say many years ago, originally this was a coal bin storage area. As you can tell, there's the old door that used to uh, contain the chute to come down here for coal. In the 60s, when this was converted to the boys club, the boys club took out the coal bins and put in a shower room. Now, they, uh, the original floor is right underneath this concrete. This was a dirt floor originally for what we understand were horse stalls at one point in time. And when they laid the concrete floor, they laid the tile and put in the plumbing right over the concrete for them. And this is, is, is original from the boys club, the original shower stall drainage area. This is one of the things that we're, we're looking, uh, that we're going to need some desperate help with. We're looking for stonemasons and, and bricklayers and people that have, uh, in, engineers that have some experience in this level. This is a slow leak from outside that's been taking place for years. Uh, at one point in time, uh, previous uh, management people have, have put in a sump pump at, at some point in time but we still have a minor leak coming in here and we're going to be looking for uh, volunteer help with this to help correct the problem this is the entrance to our attic area and uh, it's one of the unique features of the hall 
I mean, it's tough to find a door halfway up a set of stairs, especially without a side railing. And uh, it gets even stranger as you come up here because the stairs continue the rest of the way up. This is our original attic area. You can tell once again, nothing but post and, and beam and peg construction. Uh, we had a, a historical landscape architecture uh, gentleman up here who said that this was in structurally wonderful shape and we won't have any problem with that whatsoever. There, um, until recently, until Nussbaum Electric came up and did all our uh, rewiring for us, most of us were far, uh, quite frightened to go past this because this was all dark and dank and we didn't know where we were going to step or whether we'd step through the ceiling. As you can tell, there's, there's areas here that still have the original ceramic um, guidelines for the old wiring and that steps right through the ceiling. There's, there's a few of the lights that shine down in, into the area. Some of the original doors for the rooms are still up here. The other uh, half of the uh, entry door is up here. We're constantly finding new things that have been stashed up here for years and years and years. Here is the, uh, as I'd mentioned downstairs, here's the, the trap door for that vent that goes right down here. And since we've opened it up, we can just feel the heat pouring up here. Um, you can see the old way it was cleated off with a little pulley and it ran right through across the top of the beam and down the outer outside walls. And this is just uh, our part of our history here that we love and we plan on rebuilding. This area we think is the original roof area. As far as we can tell, the hall was probably built in two parts. This was the original building. Uh, as you know, the hall is almost in a T shape. This would be the front side of the T and the original roofing on it. And when they did the addition, they never bothered taking down the original roof. They just added it all on, covered it up, and left it behind. So we're going to try and leave that too in its original state. As you can tell, as I mentioned earlier, we we're looking for stonemasons and bricklayers. Uh, we could use a roof guy too to help us with our little, uh, the, we do have one small leak here on the roof and we're looking at getting that fixed in the next few years before it does any further damage. Thank you for joining us here at the Upper Village Hall today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your tour. We uh, invite those who might be interested in volunteering their services to contact the hall office. We can be reached at 434-6723 or email us at Upper Village Hall, all one word, at comcast.net.